Hey everybody, welcome back. Here today to talk about an update to the frame gen mod. So what has happened is AMD has updated their FSR 3 technology to FSR 3.1. And what this is, is an open source upscaling and frame generation technology. The difference between the AMD FSR 3 and DLSS from NVIDIA is that NVIDIA's technology is proprietary. AMD's technology is open source. So theoretically, the AMD frame gen technology could be used in Microsoft Flight Simulator, but they don't allow it for products that are not AMD products. In other words, they don't allow that this technology to be used for NVIDIA cards in Microsoft Flight Simulator, even though they could. So what the frame gen mod does is enables this AMD frame gen technology on NVIDIA cards. Now there's some really, really interesting things with this update to, from FSR 3 to FSR 3.1. First of all, they're talking about significant frame rate boosts. They are also talking about this new native AA quality mode to enhance the image quality. But I think really, really important for us in Microsoft Flight Simulator, less flickering and less ghosting in movement. So this is very, very potentially important, a very big step forward in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So a couple of things to note when using FSR 3, and when I say FSR 3, I'm now talking FSR 3.1, which is the latest version. What AMD says is they recommend, they highly recommend that you are able to run whatever game you're playing at a minimum of 60 FPS before frame generation for optimal imagery in your game. So if you aren't able to achieve 60 frames per second, what they recommend is lowering your graphics settings or your resolution or your upscaling in order to get to 60 FPS before you apply the frame gen. If you apply frame gen when you're getting less than 60 frames per second, is it going to be good? Yes, it's going to be good. They're just talking about the optimal ideal settings. So let's look at the frame gen mod. Here is the frame gen mod on Nexus mods. You do have to register for Nexus mods to download this. It's perfectly fine. You don't have to pay for it. They don't spam you. And we see here the change log for version 0.100 of the frame gen mod. It says tentative support for FSR 3.1. I've tried it out. We'll take a look here in a minute at what it looks like. And I've had some issues lately getting the frame gen mod to work after my sim crashed and it seems like they've made some changes to make it work better. I found I was able just to make a really quick file swap and it's worked really well. So we come over here to files. We need to download this file here, DLSS GFSR 3.0.1. Just click here on manual download, click on slow download. And it's going to open and save it wherever you'd like to save it. I already have it here. Once you have downloaded and unzipped the zip file, this is what you're going to get. I'll talk first about installing this if you do not have it running already. And what you want to do is right click Disable NVIDIA Signature Checks. Click here on Merge. And then you click on Run. And it's going to give you this registry editor warning that adding information can unintentionally damage your computer, basically. But this is what we've been using the entire time, and there's no issues with it. So you simply click yes. I'm going to click no because I already have it set up. And then what you want to do is take these two DLL files, and you want to put them in your Microsoft Flight Simulator install folder. Now, for most people, where it should be is in your C Xbox Games, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Content Folder. And all you're going to do is either drag and drop or copy and paste these files into this folder. And when you start Microsoft Flight Simulator for the first time, you're going to get this file here, DLSSG to FSR3.log, which you can open in Notepad. Once that log is generated, after you've started the sim for the first time, you should be able to open it and you should see here 
DLSSG to FSR3 ver version 0 0.1. Zero, zero. That's going to tell you you're good if it doesn't generate that log file or if the log file says something else, you have an issue with your installation. If you already have version 0 0.9 of the frame gen mod, which a lot of people do, what you likely have is the DLL version. So you can see here this is the 0 0.90 version universal. The one you likely have is the DLL version. So what you have in your install folder here, your Microsoft Flight Simulator content folder, will be these two files. DLSSG to FSR3, AMD is better, and then the version DLL file. So what you want to do is take those two files out of your Xbox Games Microsoft Flight Simulator content folder. Now what I did, I created a backup folder and I moved them into the backup folder. If you have version 0 0.90 still saved and you've still got the two files on your PC, you might not want to make a backup. I make backups of backups of things just because I'm nervous about something going wrong. You don't necessarily have to do that. Just make sure you still have these two files before you remove them. Then once you've removed these two files from your content folder, go here to the new download and you want to take these two DLL files and either drag them and drop them or copy and paste them here into your Microsoft Flight Simulator content folder. And what you're looking for, you want the folder where your flight simulator.exe file is located. So for store users, that's going to be here. For Steam users, there's another location. I'll put that other location for Steam users in the description. So I had the version 0 0.90 installed, and I took the two 0 0.90 files out of this folder. I moved the new 0 0.10 files in. Actually, the, I should say, I should be more specific, the 0 0.100. So it went from version 0 0.90 to 0 0.100. Once I copied and pasted the version 0 0.100 files into the content folder and restarted Microsoft Flight Simulator, it didn't work. I had to come back, and even though I had already done this before, I needed to run the Disable NVIDIA Signature Checks process again, which is right-click and merge. If, if it doesn't work with right-click and merge, some people just double-click it, but I use the right-click and merge, which is the original way of doing it. So once you move these two files into your content folder, you have to run the Disable NVIDIA Signature Checks process again, and that should get you set up. Now this will work for the NVIDIA cards. This will work for the RTX 20 and 30 series cards, which do not have native frame gen. If you have an RTX 40 series card, you have native frame gen, you don't need this. So now let's go into the sim and take a look and see what we got. All right, so here we are in the sim. You can see when you come over here to options, general options, we do have frame generation enabled. So let's select the location here, Princess Juliana International Airport. Let's load in and we'll see what we get. Now we're here in the sim. Let's get a quick look at the engine start and we'll see if this is an improvement. Because what you normally see is you normally see a lot of ghosting on the spinner covers on the engine. So let's have a look here. Still there. But I would, it's, it definitely looks different. I would say it's probably a more stable image than the one I'm used to seeing. It's a different kind of ghosting. There's kind of, it's definitely a more consistent image. And I see more of this here in the back. Let's take a look at the outside. I would say that's definitely a more consistent image than what I'm used to. Is it perfect? No, it's not. But I definitely say that's an improvement. If you look at the video I did yesterday for the new driver DLA. Um, 
560.70 in NVIDIA, you're going to see a different look on these engine spinners. And that's really kind of the main thing that I see. Now let me move this. Change the altimeter quite significantly. Now let's take a quick look and we reset it to standard here. That is a major, major improvement. That right there is a major, major improvement. Alright, here we are lined up and ready for departure. Mixtures and props will forward. Fuel pumps are on. Flaps are set. Takeoff power coming in. Takeoff power is set. We're going to look at those spinners here. Getting a little bit more kind of ghosty down there. Some ghosting along the bottom of the screen there. Where Ben wants to fly. Let's take a look at the needles. It's interesting because the needles are much, much better. I used to see some ghosting on these needles as they were moving. stabilized here as we're as we're airborne. Those flaps up we're gonna do get out here and we'll do some uh, but that's that's better. That to me is better. Still not perfect, it's better. Now let's look at the aspen here. Electronic flight display. So we don't hit them uh, on the way out here. I'm not sure if I'd call it 100% better. I mean, it's, it's a more consistent image. I just think this, this back part of it here is a little bit... To me, that's much better. To me, that's much better. Consistency of those numbers. To me, that's much, much better. Uh, no, 
let's get a real close up view of the numbers, I think. Little power on install here. Even that just looks like faster movement of numbers as opposed to ghosting per se. Shot the power here to drop the nose. See, that's that just looks like a fast moving number to me as opposed to ghosting. So, Much, much better in terms of the ghosting. Because these needles would ghost big time. There's a nice stall. Power out. Yeah, I just broke the plane. All right, that was a rather eventful ending to our flight, but I think you get the idea. All right, back here on the Nexus Mods page, there are installation and uninstallation instructions. There's also a reference to the log that we spoke about earlier. The files are here to download. There are also two things of interest to us, which, is, which are the posts section. This, there are some pinned posts here at the top, which give us some information about who can run the frame gen mod and then here we have the forums tab which has different discussions so if you are having any sort of issues you can come here hopefully get your answer so it's great to see an update to this i hope you guys are doing well please put your comments and questions in the comments below hopefully you guys can uh, can share your experiences once you've tried this and let us know how everything's going I'm going to do some flying with it today, and we'll see how we do. In the meantime, I hope everybody's having a great Friday.